Hello everybody, Master Red Jacket here, and welcome to episode 10 of the Crooked Man. I have broken double digits now, so I'm um, trying to think of where we left off. I think we just saved Fluffy from the Crooked Man, and what the heck is that? Um, a model of an embryo. A baby. Heh. It looks like a monkey. Well, babies kinda do. This is true. Does this work? Hmm, no, there's no power. Mysterious machine. Click, beep, beep. Don't touch that thing, please. Well, if there's no power, I suppose it doesn't matter now, does it? I don't know. Okay, um... Not sure where I need to be going. But I... Guess we'll figure that out. Ah, oh, these again. I have no idea if there's anything important in any of these. There were like three rooms downstairs that had nothing in them. I don't know, whoops. These controls are a little touchy and I'm still not used to them. I've been playing for ten episodes and I'm not used to them. What exactly is this? Examination table. It looks very comfortable. Gosh dang it. Okay. What's down here? Door locked with a three digit code. It seems it leads to the emergency stairs. Okay, so I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get the code to there. Um let's go upstairs, I think. Yay, piece of paper. Can I get in these? No. Like I said, I'm still not used to the controls. They're really, really touchy. Hang on a second. Alright, there we go. Keyhole's painted over, won't open. Found a scrap from a notebook. My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness, but for me it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self back when I was pure, when I still thought everyone loved me. Why would you... whatever. It's locked. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get in there at one point. Oh, really. Cabinets are empty, cabinets are empty. Okay. Bed, there's a big light over it. I have a feeling those emergency stairs keyholes painted over. I have a feeling, yep, these rooms are all the same. Okay. Now we're trying to think what I'm supposed to be doing right here. Uh, oh, we were looking for the pieces. Okay. Hint papers right here. Where do you have lunch? Give me a call. Nurses know that. Okay, so we gotta go to the cafeteria. Doop, doop. I don't quite understand the nurses know that one, unless it's in here somewhere. So I think this is like the nurses area. I checked, there's nothing in these stuff. What about that box? That little box looks important. It says lost and found on top. Look inside. There's lots of garbage. And an eyepiece. I feel smart. Okay. Let's go to the cafeteria. Ay ay ay. I think it was down here, correct? I think so. Gosh. Cups. Teacup. Oh, there's something in here. Okay. Found an L piece. Let's see. What else am I looking for? Get close to the sky. Do I have all of, uh, all of them except for that one? One, two, three, four, five. So there's six more. I have to get close to the sky. How do I get close to the sky? Hmm. Okay. I'm assuming the top floor over here somewhere. It's my only guess. I really couldn't. In this, yeah, this is locked. There's something in there. I'm not sure how to get it open. Okay, I still don't have all the pieces. Oh, I know what that says already. Yeah, poor babies. Okay. 
It's got to be something somewhere. I sometimes there aren't a whole lot of hints in this game. So you kind of really got to definitely follow I shoot that thing's freaky looking. Okay. It's locked. Okay, I gotta find out how to get in there. I feel like I really need to get in there. Um. Let's see. I apologize, you guys. I'm not exactly sure what to do. So, I might just end up ending this video until I find out what exactly I'm supposed to do. So, I will be back in just a few minutes, you guys. Thank you. There was a crooked man. And he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. There was a crooked man, huh? Yeah, Mama taught it to me. I like to sing, so I sing lots, and I like that song. I see. What is it, mister? I actually learned it as a kid, too, but I didn't like it very much. Why not? I just felt like... It just felt like a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life and all he's got around him is crooked stuff. I was scared to think, what if I was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I don't get it, mister, but sorry for singing a sad song. Er, er, no, it just reminded me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. Do you sing with your mama? Yeah, mama likes to sing too. It's fun to sing with her. Do you sing too, David? <laughs> no, I'm no good. You're better off not hearing me try. Alright, you guys, so I think I figured out what I was gonna, what I needed to do. It took me... Maybe I didn't figure out what I needed to do. Wow, that's upsetting. Well, anyways, I realized I had a key to the counseling room, and I'm not entirely sure where the counseling room is. I kind of assumed it was down here, and when I came down here, Fluffy started singing, I guess. So, yes, it's quite interesting. Um, I thought the counseling room was down there, but apparently not, so now I don't know where to go. I'm really confused, and I think I just tried all these doors, did I not? I don't know. Where is the counseling room? Where is the counseling room, you guys? I was just looking at this. Anyways, it does not at all surprise me if, um, I end up moving on and just pausing the recording again and again, just... Maybe, okay, I already did that. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna pause the recording again and come back once I actually find where I need to be. But this time I'm gonna keep the recording going so I don't end up missing anything like genius. Did I ever get into what was ever on the top floor here? It's very possible that I didn't. Aha! Unlocked the door. What is that? There are people in the chairs. I just saw a shadow. Was it my imagination? What's up, Mr. David? It's nothing. There are shadow people. Okay, so there is something in here. Ay ay ay. Counseling schedules are posted up. There are darn well better be something in here. Shelves are empty. There's a lone diary in here. Okay. A a visited after sudden change in patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon identified brain illness. Surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient tortures a daily due to still thinking herself healthy. Her memories of A are also vague. A sought counseling on how to cope. The patient misunderstands it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable. Counseling will likely continue for both. Tape 16. Subject Visitor A. Guardian for Relative in Room 413. A visited after the patient's death. He lamented that, given she was going to die, he couldn't watch over her at home. He started that he he stated that living in itself is not happy. So if life is agony, then wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor or tolerate tolerate it as a person of dignity? I wish he would come back here, but unfortunately, I can't force him. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. What's that? A storybook? 
No, it's not. Aha! Okay, so we got a key. Now, was it just me, or did that sound an awful lot like what David's going through? Almost as if it was, like, written for him. I don't know. Well, like he just said, I wonder if that kind of thing happens a lot. So, alright, now, one of these keys better open one of these doors now. Or this thing? Cabinet is locked. I really want to find out what's in there now. Ay, ay, ay. No, okay. Now let's try downstairs. This one he would start singing. It's locked. Won't open. Okay, so it's gotta be upstairs somewhere. I'm assuming it's on this side at least. Because I th think I got into everything I could possibly get into on the other side. Um, I'm pretty sure. I could be mistaken. I'm gonna end up wandering around for hours. Yeesh. Alright. Last floor. Let's hope I don't go. I really should just keep playing or I need to watch the previous episode before starting one again because I had no idea where I was and what I was doing. That's not good. I wonder if David saw that. I have no idea. Psychiatrist's diary. John Smith is dead. He hung himself. I was no help at all, it seems. I took a look at the note under his feet, and it said this. It's chasing me. No matter where I go, I can't ever escape, so I've decided to die. But I realized it's grinning. In fact, it's grinning behind me right now. That just gave me that feeling. It's been waiting for me to do this. This is what it was chasing me for. But now I'll be free from it. Doctor, please take care. It might turn to follow you next. There's no point in running, because it's always at someone's back. Goodbye. Thank you for everything, Doctor. You were the only one who had sympathy. It's grinning. Is this talking about the crooked man? And the crooked man just drives you to suicide, basically? I don't know. There's a memo on the bulletin board. Bed, trash, board. What? Wait a minute. Bed, trash, board. What the heck? <gasps> oh! Okay, so on floor four, I need to go to the bottom room and look on the board. Floor three, I need to go to the first room, look in the trash, and on two, go in the middle and look at the bed. I'm assuming that's what that means. Makes sense to me. What's this? Was somebody doodling? Hmm. What's this depicting? What are these numbers for? I have a feeling that's what that's for. It makes sense to me. I was kind of wondering what the heck those stupid rooms were all for. A board. This one. A board. Look at the papers, tear off the papers, remove the board. Remove the board. There's nothing on the wall nor on the back of the board. Okay. Tear off the papers. There's a number on the board. Six. Okay. Six. How am I going to be able to figure out the order of this? Oh darn. Hmm. I don't know. And I believe this is the first one. The trash. A trash can. To turn it over. I'm going to turn it over. One. Okay. Six. And one. And the second one. The second floor was the middle room on the bed. I knew there had to be something with these stupid rooms. A bed. Um, look on top. Covered in dirty sheets. Nothing odd about it. Look under. Hmm, there's something written on the floor. Seven. Okay, it wasn't this one, was it? No, I think it was either the third floor or the fourth floor. 
I can't remember. This place is pretty big. I can't remember. Okay, so... It's three-digit code. So, is it... 716? Or wait, no, which one did I find first? I found six first, right? And then one. And then seven. Code must be wrong. Okay, so it must be the other way around. Seven, one, six. Ah, that only makes sense. Unlocked the door. Sweet. Oh, what the heck. Whoops. What did that say? I can't go down there. There's a huge pile of sandbags, so you can't go down. Okay. Not that I really want to go down, anyways. What's this? It's blocked, so you can't get out. Okay. What's this? A large wire holds the door handles tight. Not even pliers could cut this. Not that I have any of those. Hmm. What can I do about this? I don't know. Not, if not even players can cut it, what the heck is going to cut it? Eesh. Oh, great. Now what do I do? Do I have any keys? No, I don't. Okay, so... What do I do? Did that cabinet open? Maybe there's something in that cabinet. I mean, I didn't have a key to open it. Maybe it just randomly opens, though. I don't know. Okay. Cabinet is locked. Darn. What do I do? Somebody help me. Hmm. I didn't find anything of use anywhere. What's so this? Medicine room. It's locked. Medicine room. Huh. Wait, what? Well, it's faded and hard to read and it won't open. Medicine room. I have a feeling I need to get in there. <gasps> okay, okay, that makes sense. Possibly there's some sort of chemical or something that I need to get that would melt it? I don't know. Because if it says players can't cut it, then that's honestly just about the only thing I can think of. Alright. Am I missing something? I'm missing something very obvious, aren't I? Probably. Because I think that was the way up to get close to the sky for the final piece. But I don't know, so... I don't know. Maybe I'm not even supposed to get into the medicine room. I don't know. I have no idea. Is there anything in here? Okay, I did that. And turned to be nothing. That whistling noise is getting kind of obnoxious. Oops. Okay. Hmm. Ay ay ay. I don't know, you guys. You might have to help me out with this one. Is there, is there something in here? I'm pretty sure I already looked all over here. Call lights. I did that already. Some sort of equipment. I looked in there. Copy machine. I'm pretty sure I checked all of these like two seconds ago. I got a key or something from in there. It's in the trash can? Mm -mm. No. Ay ay ay. Yikes. Vending machine. Yeah, it'll be in here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Hey, David, I'm thirsty. Huh? Oh, sorry, I don't have anything to drink. And that stuff would be too old. Aw, oh, man. Seems to be stopped on the fourth floor. I think I already checked that. Darn it. What's up? I gotta check here again. Alright, and I'm pretty sure most of these doors you couldn't get into. By most, I mean just about all of them, but maybe one on each floor you can get into. I think. Something like that. This place is so confusing. Yeah, this is the one with the blood. 
Boop. Okay. Uh, are there anything in these? Whoops. No, I can't even go in there. Okay. Seems to be busted. Busted. Yikes. Busted. I don't know what to do, you guys. Help me. <sighs> okay. Well, you know what? I think I'm just going to end this here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I, I'm kind of confused right now, so I don't know what to do. Uh, if you guys can help me out with that, that'd be fantastic. Or I might just have to look up a walkthrough or something just to figure out what the heck to do. I just want to get this done and over with. Um, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and please, if you're enjoying this, please subscribe to my channel. I want to keep getting these out there and more games like this, so that would be very, very helpful to you guys, and I would really appreciate it. Anyways. I really hope to see you sometime soon. Best of Red Jacket out.